Hey friends, welcome back to the channel. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can use Zotero together with Tana and use all the information, all the metadata you collect about the sources that you read natively inside Tana. So let's jump right in and I'm going to show you how powerful this really is. So here we are inside Zotero and I hit one shortcut, Command Shift C, and I switch over to Tana, I hit Command V, and boom, there we are, everything in Tana, right? I have the title, I have the site key, if you have set that up in Zotero, I have a link to the author, which is tagged as author, I have the year tagged, I have a field for source type, which I can select, this is a video, the status is by default set to unread, publisher isn't applicable here in this context, I have a URL and I have an abstract if I use a paper. So obviously this is super powerful. With just two, three keystrokes, you get everything you have in Zotero right into Tana. So how does that work? What's the mechanism behind this? This works by using Tana paste, which is a way that Tana provides to structure data that you copy in to allow to have that translated directly into Tana's data structures. You can get to this particular example from Zotero by going to Tana's public GitHub page and the Tana paste examples repository. And here in the Tana paste examples repo, you have a bunch of them for Twitter, for RSS, but one in particular is important and that's the Zotero translator Tana.js. It's a um, JavaScript file and if you click on this and then right click on the raw button and save link as into your downloads with .js as the file ending and then click save. Now that we have downloaded this from GitHub, what you need to do is you go into your downloads folder and find the file here. And then you find your Zotero translators folder. On macOS, this happens to be in your user home folder that you have a folder Zotero and then translators. And all you need to do is drag and drop this file into there and then you can use it in Zotero. So how does that work? How do you make this happen then in Zotero? We switch over to Zotero and we go to preferences and then to export and here in the quick copy section the item format that you can select is what's going to be your exporter that you use when you type command shift C that takes the data from Zotero and makes it then into your clipboard. The one that comes directly from Tana, I've called Tana metadata export. And now if I um, hit this and let's take liberation technology from diamond here and switch over to Tana. If I hit command paste, you see this creates a new node tagged as publication, authored by Larry Diamond, year 2010, publication, Zotero link, URL, and abstract. Right, this is what you get by default if you export the file uh, from GitHub and import it into Zotero. What you see here is the way I've adjusted it for myself. So I have, um, Instead of authored by, I have a field, field author, which is an instance field uh, where everything put in there is tagged as author. Um, I have a field source type, status, all these kinds of things. You can adjust this to your liking. Also, my main tag is a source tag instead of publication. This is completely up to you. You can edit the JavaScript file that we downloaded and you can do this with any text editor that you like. Um, I personally use Sublime Text, but you can use VS Code or what have you. What you see here on the left is what you get when you use the main or default um, exporter that you got from GitHub. This is the downloaded file from Tana's GitHub. So you see here, this is structured a little bit in code. 
If you need help with this, ask on Twitter or in the Tana Slack community. Someone might be able to help with if you can't figure this out uh, yourself. This is JavaScript code, right? Um, so you need to understand a little bit how this works. But just in, in principle, um, you tell Zotero to um, get the author in the um, creators of the source that you want to export you make a new field for year for publication you add tags and the important part is that anything you export starts with double percentage tana double percentage way too much to g get into this in detail but i wanted to show you what the secret sauce is behind this again this is figure outable right you can get into this but if you can't try and mix and match or ask on twitter or on slack and here on the right you see my version this is based on stian's and joel's work and joshua hall sent me a couple of cool things that that he did with uh, his export and so I have for the site key, I have the authors a little bit differently formatted and every author in my example here is immediately tagged as author. And as you see here, I'm adding the status field uh, with status unread as the default. So this is how this works on the back end and again you see here what the result is you can configure of course the source tag to your liking you can add fields as you want the important thing to know is the things that are then in the tana translator these fields are kind of matched when you copy and paste but empty fields that come from the source tag or from the publication tag still get added they're just uh, empty so you can put whatever fields you want in addition into this uh, main tag and tana import format or the tana paste from uh, Zotero only fills the fields that um, it knows about. So this is how you use Zotero together with Tana. It's just one shortcut that you hit Command Shift C and then Command V and you can adjust the translator to your wishes if you know a little bit of JavaScript. And with that, you're set to use Zotero together with Tana, even though we don't have a proper plugin store where Tana directly talks to Zotero because Tana still is very much in early access. All of that is going to come, but already you can use quite easily Tana together with uh, Zotero and have all the data in your Tana workspace. So if you have any more questions, put these below the video. Very happy to help. Hit the like button if you like this video and subscribe if you want to see more on how to use Tana in all sorts of different contexts. I have a ton of stuff coming and I'm looking forward to share it with you in the next videos. Talk to you then. Bye-bye.